Hi everyone, I'm Krista and welcome to my video on the magical crystal skulls. So when I first got into crystal healing, which was many many years ago, I would hear these whisperings of crystal skulls, sometimes people would mention them in passing. There was a lot of mystery and intrigue surrounding them. And uh, back then, they weren't so readily available. Um, you can find them in some crystal shops now, or of course you could find some to purchase online, but back then it wasn't uh, widely available. But there was a lot of intrigue and mystery surrounding them. So I wasn't sure, you know, what I believed about them. Um, to be honest, some people love them. It does sometimes creep other people out. I was one of those people where it kind of creeped me out a little bit. I wasn't sure if I wanted to work with crystal skulls. So many, many years later, um, I actually ended up uh, getting some crystal skulls and I actually have four of them now in my collection. So I want to tell you a little bit about uh, some of the history and, and this intrigue about them. I'm not going to go into super huge detail just to keep this video a little bit more on the short side, but I will post some links to information that you can read about them. So um, part of the intrigue is nobody knows exactly why there's crystal skulls, where they came from. There's a lot of debate about that. But one interesting story is that in the Mayan culture and civilization, it's believed that they use crystal skulls um, in rituals or for ceremonies or for healing or divination. And it's believed that uh, from the Mayans, there were 13 skulls that were buried across the earth and uh, they were basically the record keepers, these crystal skulls. They held knowledge and consciousness uh, about the earth, about humanity. And I mean, it depends what you believe. Some people have said that they've found some of these Mayan crystal skulls. Um, there's a lot of debate about that. Um, but there have been some ancient skulls that have been unearthed, which has been very interesting. And there's uh, one skull in the museum in uh, London, there's another skull that you can see on display in France. And uh, the one in London, there's a little bit of, uh, again, some mystery surrounding this skull. Um, even though it's in a glass enclosure, that apparently sometimes it moves by itself. So the staff members have reported that it will be in one position and then it will move by itself into another position. Um, sometimes these other ancient skulls that have been found, um, they contain a lot of light, so they'll change color, they'll grow brighter when they are uh, doing some healing work for somebody. So if someone needs healing and they are in the presence of the crystal skull, it will become brighter. That uh, Also, sometimes the auras of the crystal skulls have been photographed and these beautiful auras show up uh, again when the crystal skulls are activated or if they are giving somebody some healing. So there's so much mystery and intrigue surrounding them, but I'll show you four that I have and um, I'll tell you a little bit about how people are using them. Now, one thing that you have to know is people in the crystal skull community, they consider that they don't own these skulls. Um, it's not an ownership thing, but these people really consider themselves the guardians of crystal skulls so that they are the caretakers of crystal skulls. So um, it's considered like an honor and a privilege to be a crystal skull guardian or a caregiver to the skull. And uh, the skulls sometimes will also be gifted to people if they need to work with someone else. So it's possible that you might be gifted with one. You know, the movement across the globe with these crystal skulls is quite interesting how that happens. So I just want to show you a few that I have. I'm going to start off with the smallest one I have. And this is actually clear quartz and it's completely clear, uh, which is considered to be water clear. There's no inclusions or fissures or cracks or anything like that. So I'm going to hold it up here, okay, so you can see. This one's just really, really tiny. Let me just hold it this way. Okay, so you can see how clear it is. I'll turn it around. There's the face. Okay, I'll turn it the other way so you can get a good view of it. And I love this crystal skull because it's very, very small and it's very pure. 
And I carry it around with me when I travel, and when I travel to different countries and go to sacred sites, so whether it's a sacred site like a church or a temple or also maybe a holy shrine or a sacred spring of water, I'll take the skull with me and I will energize it in those places so that it takes on the healing properties of the sacred site. And then I bring the skull home and I put it with my other skulls to charge them with the sacred healing energies of those sites. And I also charge all of my other crystals with that energy as well. So this is my little travel around um, crystal skull. Uh, this one really loves to travel with me. It's believed that uh, the crystal skulls have different personalities, if you will. This one, because it's so clear, the energy about it is so pristine and so pure that it has a very high vibration. So it absorbs a lot of those healing energies from sacred places. And then I bring those energies back home. Now, the other one that I will show you is a piece of purple fluorite, this beautiful skull carved from fluorite. Okay, so here it is. It's got a darker face and then the crown is this beautiful lavender purple. Okay, so I'll hold it like this so you can see it a little better. And I like that. I like the dark eggplant purple and I like that the crown is lavender because it's more represents to me that the crown is illuminated, like the crown chakra of this crystal skull is illuminated. So there it is. Okay. I love this one and uh, the personality of this one is that it really helps to boost my intuition. So if I need to have heightened intuition when I'm doing healing work for a client, I will have this crystal skull in the room or I can hold it and it will give me the flashes of insight that I need of how to help this client for their highest good, what I need to know, what areas of their body or energy field that I need to focus on for healing where there could be negative energy or energy congestion that needs to be cleared. So this particular skull really helps me with that. So I use this one for insight and for healing. It has a very sweet, sweet energy to it. Very, very beautiful. I will show you another one. This is a larger one now. Clear quartz again. Okay, so this is my second one. And I'll hold it a little bit closer. Hopefully you can see. Because it's so bright, this particular... Crystal Skull is super bright and it holds a lot of light, so I just want to try and show you the face a little bit more. might be hard to see because this Crystal Skull is bright and as you can see, like the light picks it up there, but now it's really really bright in the face, you can hardly see the features. This is what this particular skull does when it needs to do some healing work, it brightens up like that. And it will do it by itself, okay? So it brightens up. If I hold it further back, maybe you can see. But again, it's going really bright. And I don't have lights actually shining on it. Okay, see there it goes bright again. And many people have really reported to me that they see flashes of that light in the skull. So when they need healing, I believe that this skull illuminates to radiate that healing energy out to people so that they can get the healing that they need. This is a beautiful crystal skull that when I meditate with it, um, I can actually access information for divination. And because it's got a lot of inclusions in this one, I will actually gaze into it in different angles and look inside this crystal skull and I will see shapes and patterns that are really good to help me divine and answer questions on behalf of myself or even other people. So this skull is really nice for that. So again, this one is so bright. I'm sorry that you can't see the features maybe uh, as well as I would like you to see them. If I hold my hand this way, even you can see it a bit better, but that's what this skull does. It lights up like that by itself. So I have another one now. The last one that I will show you is smoky quartz. Okay, so here we have it. And this is an interesting one because its smile lights up. And uh, again, this is an interesting phenomena. When this skull is sending healing, it seems to send healing out of its smile. So I'll turn it, okay, so you can see. And again, this skull, even though it is smoky quartz, it also holds a lot of light. So I use this one for divination as well. But again, it sends this beautiful healing light out of its smile. And this uh, 
again, this crystal skull has a very sweet energy. So when it's sending healing out to people, it activates that way. You see the light coming out of the smile. And there's an interesting feature. If you see right here, there's this little beauty mark. And we have a second one over here, right there, of magnesite. So it's a very grounding skull. So this one is really good if uh, to hold if you feel flighty, ungrounded, spacey. It really helps to ground your energy and it purifies your aura as well. So it purifies your aura, your energy bodies, as well as your physical body. So in a gentle and profound way. So this skull is really beautiful for healing for that. So all my skulls are basically used for healing and divination. That's uh, the purpose. Every crystal skull has a different purpose. And you'll find the skulls carved out of all types of stone, jade, amethyst, rose quartz, ruby zoezite, you'll find lots of stones that have been carved and they all have different healing purposes or different purposes in general and they also have different jobs to do. So that's why they also have different personalities. Now the crystal skulls, if you do decide to work with them and they decide to work with you because they will pick you to be a guardian, that it can open up some beautiful, wonderful healing avenues for you and uh, it can enrich your life in some beautiful and wonderful ways. So I do highly recommend uh, checking it out or just looking into it and seeing if it's uh, something for you. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Crystal Lynn, Crystal Healing Therapist as well as Teacher of Crystal Classes. If you would like more information on crystals, please like my Facebook page or you can check out my website at crystallynn.ca. Thank you so much for watching, blessings to you, and namaste.